Okay, so in this video, what I want to show is how we can leverage Kada and Kubernetes to be able to scale Azure DevOps agents as jobs begin to queue up for, for your pipelines, right? So you, you'd need to have parallel jobs configured. Once you have that, you can scale up and down. Kada will do that scaling for you dynamically, and your agents will be running as containers on Kubernetes. So let's see how that this looks here. So I have a pipeline here, a basic pipeline, and what this pipeline does is, uh, if we just take a look, I'm gonna leverage my test pool. This is my, my self-hosted agent pool here. And again, the agents here are gonna be running as containers. We're gonna see that. And not, nothing going on at this point, we're just doing a sleep, right? So that's what I have here. At this bottom terminal, what you see is Kada every second actually checking the job queue, right? Right now I have no, no pipelines are, are queued up at this point, right? So uh, you can see the number of jobs running in my Kubernetes cluster is zero. So what that means is I actually have no agents that are, that are running right now in, in AKS. And the benefit of that is that now you can start to scale in and out your cluster and your agents as jobs begin to queue up. And when you're not running any jobs, you don't need to keep those agents uh, deployed, right? And you could even trim down your cluster itself. So you can end up being efficient and optimizing your resource utilization uh, with this approach. So uh, for context too, if we just look at jobs, right? We don't have any here. So let's actually kick off a couple pipelines that are gonna run in parallel and we're gonna see uh, Kata dynamically scale out the number of jobs here that are running. And, and take note that I'm, I'm specifying a job here because each of these agents are going to run ephemerally and only once per the pipeline, right? It's not an agent that's gonna handle multiple pipelines. It's an agent spins up as one job queues up if it completes that and then it, it and then it goes away right and that's the concept of a kubernetes job as opposed to a kubernetes deployment which is a long-lived container and process right okay so let's go ahead and spin this up here so i'm going to run a pipeline and what we're going to see is we should see something here start to scale it yep so there's the create jobs and if we look now we're going to see a job that's running right now let's queue up one more. So that way we have a few running in parallel. I'll just run the pipeline again. Right, and it just created another one. So now if we look, now we have two, right? And right now they're both running. That's why we see completion zero of one, right? So if I take a look at uh, the pods here, both of these pods are running. Excellent, so now let's go to runs here and we can see both of these are running. And if you actually look at these pipelines and as the job initialized, you can see it leveraged this, this agent here with this particular ID, right? This aligns to what we see here, right? Same way if we go to the other one, we're gonna see the same thing using the other agent, right? It's using this top one here. And if you actually look at the logs, you'll actually see the output. You can see that it's currently running, right? So eventually once this gets down here, we're gonna see this complete. And if I just look here, uh, we should have two jobs that are currently running, view in progress jobs. Yep. So they're both running here. So pretty cool, right? We're going to see, you kind of just saw it there that, that Kata scaled out the jobs as, as uh, pipelines begin to queue up. And once this is going to hit completion, right? Kata's going to, those jobs are going to be uh, gone and, and now you're not going to have anything running, running in your cluster. So that's the benefit of what Kata is doing. Kata is essentially monitoring this job queue and saying, hey, when this queue starts to pile up, go ahead and spin out and deploy a new job, which is a container, again, that, that I've already deployed and built on ACR to be able to, uh, to, 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 to run that pipeline on your behalf. So 
uh, as opposed to, uh, you know, with Azure DevOps, you could also do this with VM scale sets, right? But the benefit here is one with Azure DevOps server, VM scale sets are not natively supported, right? You'd have to go configure that that scaling as the queue expands and, and contracts. So the benefit here is now we don't have to manage that and Kata is doing it for us. So let's see here. We have a few more minutes here. And again, just to kind of... Kata Azure Pipelines trigger. This is what we're really referencing here. So uh, the, this, this, the repo and the way I deployed this, I'll be sharing soon, but I just want to show the concept. And what we're really leveraging here is, is this trigger that Kata uh, has support for. So we're scaling applications based on the agent pool queue. So let's see, we should be pretty close to done. So let's... Take a look here at the logs for this. We'll follow it. So that way we can see that once this and this agent was the one that is the other pipeline. So let's go to that run. Okay, it looks like it just completed. And see, you can see that now the agent's being removed from the pool, right? Because it's finished. That, that Kubernetes job is complete. Um, so that, that agent's going to go away uh, on, on the cluster. So once all these runs complete here, you should see this one. Now what we're going to see is, okay, this job, just, okay, the other one completed as well. So here we go. They're all complete. And what this shows is just the history. You can actually remove all these, right? This is just showing the historical output. And you can configure how many you want to save here from from a uh, to be able to just view the fact that the job ran but you no longer have a container that's actually running now in your namespace so if i look at our namespace in devops you see that it's completed right so you, so this is just again the same idea this is the historical job that just ran but it's not actually running right you can see the status is completed here so pretty cool way to be able to uh dynamically expand and contract the way that you're managing your your DevOps agents and do so in an efficient way and not have to worry about how do I configure scaling if I were doing something like a VM scale set. So uh, I'll, I'll be sharing the assets of how I deployed all of this uh, soon here in a repo. Thank you.